morning. I'm Sean Yao, and this is One News Now. One area in Paranaque was put under calibrated lockdown due to a spike in COVID-19 infections. Justine Punsalang is on the ground to give us the latest. Justine, what's going on there and how is the situation? Sean, residents of uh, Silverio compound here in Barangay San Isidro, Paranaque City are uh, locked down inside their homes for the next three days as the local government unit declared uh, the area under calibrated containment. This means that their quarantine passes are temporarily considered as void. The main road of Silvera compound seemed like a ghost town this morning. No residents were seen outside their homes. All commercial ex establishments were closed down. Even pets did not roam the streets. Because at 6 a.m. earlier, the three-day calibrated containment started in the area. Only government employees and health workers are allowed to enter and exit Silvera compound freely. Other workers, unfortunately, will not be allowed to pass through. Instead, they can request for a certification or certificate of calibrated containment that they can submit to their employers as an excuse slip for missing work. Meanwhile, the elementary school covered court was converted into a mass testing center where about 1,500 persons identified via contract tracing will undergo rapid and swab testing. Based on the LGU's latest data, there are 22 active COVID-19 cases in the compound inhabited by around 10,000 to 16,000 individuals. Besides mass testing, the LGU will also conduct clearing and decontaminating operations. Stray animals will be taken by the city veterinary office, while residents caught violating the calibrated and reasonable lockdown will be temporarily detained by barangay officials. Sean, based on the latest data from the Paranaque LGU, there are currently 738 active COVID-19 cases in the city, 96 of which are from Barangay San Isidro. Meanwhile, just before we went on air, the uh, CENRO or the City Environment and Natural Resources with the help of the Paranaque Task Force conducted their clearing operations. Sean? All right, thank you for that update and stay safe out there. Justine Punsalang joining us live from Paranaque. Here are other headlines we're keeping our eyes on. The Bicameral Conference Committee is expecting to finish and reconcile the Senate and House versions of the Bayanihan 2 bill. Yesterday, the committee agreed to increase its budget to 166.5 billion pesos. Data from the Health Department shows 48% or nearly half of COVID-19 deaths in the country were never admitted into hospitals. Meanwhile, 7 in 10 active critical cases are not getting any treatment in medical facilities. And Israel's saliva test is now among the test methods for COVID-19 being studied by the Health Department. This test was reported to determine in less than a second if a person is infected with SARS-CoV-2. For more updates, follow News 5, The Philippine Star, and Business World online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. You can also catch One News on the Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News Live anytime, anywhere. I'm Sean Yao, and we are One News.